Good morning. So how did the last two days go with... Wow, he opened the door for her. Youngster opening the door for his young girlfriend. That's beautiful. Anyway, um, how did the shop go the last couple days? It went very, very good. There were customers that came to see me that were waiting for me to come back. Um, there were you know, mechanics that missed me. And uh, we had a very successful couple days of getting work out that was there, getting bills closed out that was hard to get a hold of people. I was able to get a hold of them, get them closed out, and uh, take in some new work and make sure that there was work spilled over into the next day. Uh, we were we were doing pretty good. We um, it felt good back being back in the shop. And there were the front two people that write ROs um, that help close out tickets, that write checks for vendors. They didn't they didn't want to come in. So I did everybody's job myself. Wrote checks, closed people out, credit card transactions, opened ROs, closed ROs, contacted people that owed money on top of being in the shop with the guys orchestrating where all the work and stuff needs to go, how fast, priority-wise, we need to get things done, how easy things were, um, who, what tech gets what. It was, uh, it was nice. I was able to do everything by myself. I didn't need help. So, um, this is the first time I've ever had complete control of the business without somebody else at least being there to assist with cutting checks, answering phones. I did everything. Wrote estimates. The phones were going off the hook. Um, yeah, so last couple days were pretty good. I, uh, I enjoyed it. A little frustrating at first because I didn't know a couple of the people weren't going to be there. But anyway, they weren't there. And I was able to recover from that and uh, continue moving forward and run the shop without those other two people as um, assisting me. So the way I see it is maybe those two positions aren't needed because it was really busy yesterday and I didn't need anybody. I was able to keep up with the phone calls nonstop, the estimates nonstop, customers picking up vehicles, dropping off vehicles, dealing with vehicles that were that were left over from before that needed to get out and I was able to manage and direct perfectly fine so that's the update on the shop the last couple days now I'll be taking some more time off my partner's coming back he's gonna take back over and uh, I just did it temporary for a couple days I'm not going back to work until after the wedding once the wedding and stuff is done and over with then I'll go back to work. So May 4th, we get married. I don't go back. Or then we go on our honeymoon. We'll be gone to like May 11th or 12th. And then uh, then I'll be back at Brighton. But until then, it's going to be automotive content at home. And what's going on in our communities and stuff at home. Um, I'm going to be traveling, doing some side jobs, going to meet some people and stuff that need diagnostics done. There was a lady in Peoria that called me. The rats got into the wiring harness underneath her vehicle and uh, chewed a bunch of wires and stuff going to her transfer case and the local dealer doesn't want to fix it and she reached out to me and said you know if you'd be interested it's a, it's a little bit of a drive but I will compensate you dearly for driving the two hours to come see me and fixing this problem if you can fix it and I said well snap some pictures and stuff of it for me if you can if you got to get into a local garage and just pay them an hour worth of labor to get up underneath the vehicle and take some pictures of all the wires that are chewed up and send it to me, that would be great because then I'll know what I'm getting myself into. So anyway, um, there's that and then uh, there's there's a couple other people that want me to come by and diagnose and fix things on their vehicles that they know it, they don't need a lift for. Um, if any of you feel the same reach out to me. My, my email is in my bio. Hit me up. Let me know you want me to come look at your vehicle. Uh, sometimes I do it for free. Sometimes I have to charge something because of the extent of the, the work that I'm putting in. It just all depends. Thanks, guys. Be blessed.